On this Friday, Julie Donaldson, Santana Moss. It is time for the X's presented by Pepsi. And we are doing player spotlights today. We are putting it on Ruben Foster. Uh, as he was activated off the physically unable to perform list last weekend and being able to get out there with his teammates. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about him as he's going to his fourth season. Missed the entire year last, uh, last year because I was actually out of that practice where he gets out there and I think like two plays in. He's down, carted off, never had his opportunity to come back. Um, look, a bit of a storied past in getting here. I think we're all quite familiar with, with that. And, and I was the first to say I was very skeptical of this, yeah. I, you know, and say, uh, let's not get too overhyped. We need to make sure that everything off the field is going to be okay before we can really welcome him on. And even after they did bring him in, you know, I went around to every player uh, that played at Alabama with him, John Allen, uh, Sean Deon Hamilton, uh, and asked them, I said, you know, what is it about this guy? You know, how can we help him? And they said, look, he just needs to have good guys around him, but he's going to be a good teammate. Um, from what I have heard now, when I follow up on those conversations, he has been. Yeah. And he has shown explosiveness coming off of that injury. And he has been very engaged. The coaches keep saying that. He's engaged in the meeting rooms. So he has an opportunity to really come in and make an impact. Yeah, one of the things, one of the biggest questions is is can we count on him? You know, mm -hmm. you don't want to go into the season and saying that this is the guy that we count on playing. So you want to leave that little area, you know, that room for error and just say, can we count on him? He hasn't played a full season since he's been in the league, missed all of last year. But if healthy and when healthy, he shows you flashes of him being that Pro Bowl caliber player. So uh, you just hope this guy can get back to full strength mm -hmm. and be a guy that we can rely on. So he was a former first round pick right now on the defense. They have seven former first round picks, uh, which means that that's going to be the strength of the team and something to get excited about. If we're to talk about the strengths of him, um, what would you say are his best attributes right now where he's at? I think I can't even say right now where he's at, but if you just think about the last time he played the game, uh, one of the things that we was, you know, we, we, we was like our, our Achilles heel last year was our safeties. I mean, our, our linebackers covering and he can cover and cover ground. Mm -hmm. So he's a guy that we can put in there on third down. He's an every down linebacker, but mm -hmm. on third down especially, he can go out there and cover some of those guys that we just couldn't find to you know, do so last year. So that's to me is a big strength that we didn't have last year. He has the opportunity, Coach said, he's going to move him around to all the positions um, to be a starter. Uh, he's going to have to earn it. That yeah. is one thing that Coach keeps saying across the board is that, look, you're not really going to be able to see what they're doing until the pads are on. We're still a couple of days away from that happening. Uh, but when he does get out there, he's going to move him around. They want them to learn multiple positions. I've heard a lot of guys say that helps them be a better player as well to mm -hmm. understand what it is to be the middle, the weak, and the strong side. He has the physical stature uh, to be strong, the aggressiveness for that. He has the athletic ability to play the weak side. And once he learns the offense and commands that huddle they think that he can even be the middle guy so yeah. you're going to be able to see where he falls in um, but let's also hear from his coach now uh, in the linebacking room Steve Russ on Foster fantastic I mean he's back there taking mental reps he's making the calls he's lining up he's putting himself in that position he's telling you know he's saying out loud what he's going to do uh, you know I quiz guys a lot in meetings and one of the things I like to do with Ruben is Ruben will push mute and I see Ruben making all the calls with his hands, whether I ask him or not. And, you know, I can see his lips moving, whether I ask him a question or not. Because I told him, I don't, I don't have to ask you a question for you to be able to answer it. And uh, I really like what, where, where Ruben is. I like his intent. Uh, I, I really like his focus. I like his discipline right now. And, and uh, obviously, we're, we're, we're rooting for him. You know, I'm a big Ruben Foster fan. I want to see him get back out there and and, and play some football because I know that's what he loves to do and that's what he's worked very very hard to do. So those are the things you want to hear about a player that is is trying to really kind of I, I don't even know how many chances this is for him to come back but he's trying to make another opportunity to come back and have an impact and by what they're saying by what coach is saying and even head coach Ron Rivera and his fellow teammates are saying he's going about it the right room so what does he bring to that linebacking room? I think one of the things he brings is just, you know, he's a um, he's a potentially Pro Bowl caliber player. You know, he's a guy that I don't think we have there. I mean, when you look at some of the guys that we have, uh, you can say one or two guys who've been there before. But I think he brings that potential and, and, and add more depth. Yeah, one of the things as well, they said when he was ta when, in, when the when he was with the 49ers, he dealt with a lot of different injuries because he was so aggressive in the way he, yeah. he he made his lines and he tackled, and he would almost even hurt himself from a lot of that. So he's having to kind of grow a little bit and learn the right way to go, how to play in order to make sure that he is consistently out there and contributing. Cause you can't do much if you know your yeah. shoulders dislocated, your ankles hurt, and you're off the field. Uh, so that's something that he's going to have to deal with as well. Um, as a whole. How can he have that impact? I mean, if we're just talking like the defense in its entirety and not just the linebacking core. 
Yeah, when you look at it, man, you just need one of those players that you you can always trust on and, and or or count on and trust in. I think uh, that's one of the biggest things that I you know I questioned early coming into this segment is can we count on him? You know, uh, one of the things about you know teams, you want to have a guy that you know regardless of what's going on through this season, where we up or down or things just not going right for us, I can always assure, rest assured that this guy's going to be here. So I think he has to add that element to his game of just being here and being, you know, dependable, and then we can expect all the other stuff.